Two, two pieces of advice come to mind. One, I was doing a Broadway play that was directed by Carl Reiner. And uh, the play was called Tough to Get Help. I was playing an older character. I've always had a thing for older characters. This is some close to 30 years ago when I was playing a character of, I think, 65 or close to 70. And um, the play starred the late Jack Cassidy. And I remember Carl Reiner saying to me, he said, John, you're a big guy. You've got to show vulnerability. Always show vulnerability, regardless of what you're doing. Because if you present this formidable presence, you're going to intimidate people. They'll never be able to get to the comedy that you're trying to present to them. I remembered that. And then years later, I would have the pleasure of working with Ernest Borgnine, who, um, well, the, I'll give you the Ernest Borgnine story. We were doing a show called Future Cop, in which Ernest Borgnine portrayed and myself portrayed uniformed police officers. And our, the third partner in our car, unknownst to me, was an android. And I could never figure out, my character could never figure out, how does this kid know so much about every criminal that we're after and all of their their M.O.s and the whole, how does he do this? Well, Ernie was in on it. He knew, his, Ernie's character knew that he, of course, he was an android. So I remember uh, after we did uh, about 10 episodes, we took a hiatus, and during that time I got the offer to do Roots. And after I did Roots, which firmly established me as an actor who could do drama as well, I went back to do some more episodes of Future Cop, and um, Ernie gave me the nickname Nikita Kunta. I don't, where he got that from, I don't know. But the advice came when I asked him quite seriously one day, I said, Ernie, do you think I should concentrate on dramatic stuff or should I continue to do the comedy? Because by then I'd also gotten an offer to go back and do some episodes of Mary Tyler Moore. He said, kid, take the money. 10 years from now, nobody's gonna know or care. And it turned out to be the truth. He said, the more you can do, the better. Do comedy, do drama, do all of it. It'll sharpen your tools. And he, he is one of the actors I've always tried to emulate because he won the Academy Award for Marty. Um, McHale's Navy is classic sitcom for television. Uh, bad Day at Black Rock, he played a bad guy. So I said, my God, this guy, he doesn't look like your classic movie star, nor do I. So I can compare myself with him that way, but look at him, he's doing comedy, he's doing drama, he's doing it all. That's the kind of actor I want to be. So I, those are the two most important pieces of advice I think I've ever gotten. Um, and of course, we all know the cliches that came out of the old school, which was, um, it's a wonderful profession acting, just don't get caught doing it. And um, you just remember your lines and don't bump into the furniture, you know, that, yeah, Spencer Tracy.